It's 2025 and finally brain rot seems to be under control. Like no more skibidiris, phantom tax or giat spam. Thank god this term is not officially recognized. Okay, I'm making an AI brain rot generator app. If you're chronically online, you might have noticed a trend in AI generated Minecraft shorts, discussing a random Reddit post in detail, or some man coming out of a toilet. Classic. But what got me curious was this tool by Meme Gnome where you can upload any notes based PDF and get an AI generated brain rot video. Seems legit for quickly learning stuff. So I infinitely decided to build a mobile app for this and also add an extra functionality of accepting user questions or queries because why not? Then the app will do some brain rot riz and give you your generated video explaining the topic in gen alpha slang. For starters, I will let you choose between a Minecraft or Subway Surfers background video. Plus some AI voiceovers end up being the most popular one. Guys, please rescue me from his basement. But Infinel PDF2 brain rot already exists. Yes, it does, but sounds like free money to me, so why not just build it? Moving forward, in every AI app video, I perform a ritual, where I name the app before discussing anything technical. I will get straight to the point. Brain rot got popular because of TikToks. And what TikTok lacks? Brains. Hence, I settled on the name Brain Talk. I bet I have 169 IQ. Reveal the logo editor. <clears throat> not this one, the other one. Yes. Also, the logo is definitely not an altered version of Apple's Yap emoji. Talk about being lazy. Now, the generation process mainly requires three things. First, an AI transcript, which can easily be generated by Llama 3.370b or DeepSeek v3 model, which was recently released. Then we will need an AI voiceover. I first decided to use an open source pre-trained model like F5 TTS or XTTS. With zero short voice cloning, you can pretty much generate any audio with similar style. Though the problem is it might hallucinate and wouldn't work well for one to two minute recordings. So just split, no not your legs dumbass, but even after splitting it up in chunks of 20 second clips, the unwanted distortions were still present in the synthesized audio. Oklahoma the Aki way, that shit just plain uncanny like skibidi toilet bro bro got negative infinity more. Then I thought of using a text to speech API, but again that was out of question as 11 labs would only give 30 minutes of generated audio for $5 worth of credits. OpenAI TTS API was definitely cheaper, but you get no voice customization whatsoever. Hence the solution is to wait for better models to come, as always. Meanwhile use whatever method suits you the best, and at last subtitles. Well, we could use another API to get the timings of subtitles, but I was too ashamed to call my app an API wrapper. So I researched further and discovered this forced aligner method. Basically, it uses machine learning technique to align the transcript with the corresponding audio. Exactly what an API does, but I'm gonna use a serverless GPU to do that. Thank you model for not giving me sleepless nights unlike other GPU providers. Also, before you ask, this is not sponsored. Or you're probably wondering how am I gonna implement this forced alignment method. <laughs> Just pip install the force align package. After that, I quickly built a frontend for my mobile app using Flutter and that too in light theme. No dark theme this time, boys. Let's run a test on the infamous question, why is mitochondria powerhouse of the cell? Energy is in the form of a molecule called adenosine triphosphate. God damn that works. There were a few problems though. This method does not work on numbers and only supports English transcript and audio. Therefore our only way out is to use an API for timing the captions right and accept its fate as just another API wrapper. Alright, next task is to accept uploaded PDF files. There are two ways to do this. First, get the PDF, parse it and get all the copied text. After that, send it to a custom built summarizer endpoint, built with model weights from hugging face. This should give you 2000 to 5000 character summary. 
The pros of this strategy is that first you save up cost on input tokens when this is given to a LLM and you don't have to care about the context length limit. The cons are there is not enough context if PDF is big as fuck. Imagine losing out on so many details when you go from 128k token length to a mere 500 tokens. So I decided to take the second route, which is just pasting the text as it is and using a LLM model having a limit of at least 128,000 input tokens. Got a charge high to justify the high cost for every request. Therefore, I have decided to keep the price at $6 weekly and $20 monthly. If you think this is too much then skill issue, get richer or join my discord server limit nil for a chance to get free credits. Anyway, you can still watch an ad to generate for free initially. So you can at least try the app out. Infinal is Loki a genius when it comes to creating fun apps, no cap. His content is straight fire, always bringing that skibidi energy. You get to see the process of building something from scratch.